Hello and welcome to BOI Weekly. I'm Kaya de Alayade. In October 2017, the World Bank announced that it had ranked Nigeria 145th out of 190 countries in the Ease of Doing Business Index for 2018. That report indicated that Nigeria had moved up 24 points from 169th position on the 2017 ranking and also 170th position on the 2016 ranking. But that heartwarming report was a result of the government's deliberate effort through its National Action Plan on Ease of Doing Business, a part of the administration's Economic Growth and Recovery Plan, EGRP, to build a globally competitive economy. One of the key agencies established for that purpose is the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, PEBEC. The agency, recognizing the need to deepen its collaboration with the Bank of Industry as an indispensable partner, recently paid a courtesy visit to the executive management of the bank, would let to you into the crux of the conversation. Also in this edition, the Bank of Industry has further extended the scope of its intervention in the health sector by supporting a hospital in the capital territory, Abuja, helping them to acquire very key medical equipment in the move expected to improve access to affordable health care for Nigerians in that region. Stay close for details. Starting your business shouldn't be a scare when you have the right support. Support that helps you grow. Support that helps you expand beyond borders. And this support extends to every single person on the value chain. All the way down to the leaders of the next generation. At Bank of Industry, we believe that supporting one is supporting all. With a system set up to provide financial and advisory support for growing and large businesses. Visit any of our offices, website, or social media pages to get in on how you can benefit from this today. Bank of Industry. Transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. In July 2016, the federal government established the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, PEBEC, with an assignment as clearly defined as its name suggests. The High Powered Council, which includes, amongst others, 10 ministers, the central bank governor and the head of civil service is chaired by His Excellency, the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemil Shimbaju. In less than a year, the quality of work produced by PEBEC speaks volumes. Nigeria moved up 24 points in the World Ease of Doing Business Index. But the federal government would not go to bed on that. It wants to completely close the gap by building a country where entrepreneurs, especially MSMEs, can carry out their businesses with zero administrative bottlenecks and unfettered access to finance. They even have some clothes on that. Area. That's why the senior special advisor to the president on industry, trade and investment, who also doubles as the secretary of PEBEC, Dr. Jumoke Udwali, led a delegation of the council to the BOI Towers in Abuja on a courtesy visit. They are here to further engage the executive management of the Bank of Industry on ways to increasingly stimulate MSME's access to credit and ease of doing business. She begins with a report on their activities. Uh, the PEBEC works with about 40 MDAs and we have about 15 priority ones particularly selected for their high impact on the business climate. So for the first 60-day national action plan, we worked on about eight uh, indicators, including entry and exit of people, which is a homegrown Nigerian indicator. We worked on uh, World Bank indicators, about seven of them last year, from starting a business, uh, getting credit, which really uh, pertains to part of why we're here, paying taxes, 
And these are some of the areas that MDAs have talked about repeatedly. Also, when His Excellency goes on his SME clinics, of which BOI is an integral part, we had a lot of feedback about um, agencies like NAF, trademarks, and a number of other agencies. So we started our own second homegrown indicator, which is traded within Nigeria, which has to do with movement of goods across the country. So when we're moving agricultural produce, for instance, from the north to the south, or imported goods from the ports in the west to the east, uh, all the bottlenecks, whether it's from freight, whether it's regulatory environment, that businesses um, experience along the way. She also talked about the impact of Nigeria's improved World Bank's ease of doing business rating brought on by the government's reforms. Now the significance of the ranking is that it's an empirical study. It's what private sector tell the World Bank. So it's like being a student and, and taking an exam. Uh, the marker is an external arbiter. And the World Bank uh, ranks 190 countries across the world on a uniform methodology. So it's not really something that the, the Nigerian government can, can try to manipulate in any way. So we're delighted that the private sector have noticed some of the reforms that we've been working on particularly getting credit, which we'll go into a bit later because that really pertains to why we're here. And um, being able to work with the National Assembly, we were able to pass two laws uh, last year, two bills into law. We passed the National Collateral Registry, which we actually are hoping more and more financial institutions will support, and also the Credit uh, Bureau uh, legislation. Now, those two interventions made sure that Nigeria was ranked number six in the world in the enabling environment for getting credit. But SMEs are still telling us that it's a bit difficult accessing credit in the Nigerian climb. So that's part of what substantively we'd like to discuss with you today. So without further ado, we've done a lot of other reforms this year, but we thought it was good to come and give BOI a feedback on getting credit in particular. After setting the tone for their visit, Dr. Uduwale hands over to her colleague who presents the reports justifying the need to collaborate with the Bank of Industry to further improve MSME access to credit. At the 30th of March, um, we had the Collateral Registry has registered 297 financial institutions with a cumulative total of about 27,000 financing statements valued over 530 billion. The Bank of Agriculture has also registered over 32.7 billion worth of financing statements on the collateral registry between December and today. The Development Bank of Nigeria, which was set up in 2015 to support the microfinance banking sector, has also registered 5 billion worth of financing statements on the collateral registry. Um, now, talking about um, Bank of Industry, you've, uh, the bank has registered as financial institution with the uh, collateral registry. However, there's not been any transaction from the bank on the registry. So um, this is more or less just bring it to the management, the fact that um, there's not been any activity by the bank on the registry. Also, SMEs are also having challenges with respect to accessing credit from the bank due to the requirement that they must present a guarantee um, from the commercial banks, uh, guaranteed by commercial banks. So these are some of the critical challenges that SMEs are facing respect to getting access from. In his response, the managing director of the Bank of Industry, Mr. Lukai de Quito, outlines ways the bank has supported MSMEs in the past. Yes, we do ask for bank guarantees, but it is not in all our credits that we do ask for bank guarantees because we have so many other facilities. You know, there are some facilities that all you require, you know, are to guarant us. You know, some of the programs we have for the young graduates, you know, uh, some of the facilities uh, like Jeep, which we run for government, you know, you do even need security, you know, they onboard them, they have their BBN numbers, and they're able to attract, you know, uh, some capital from the bank, you know, some financing. Mr. Quinton also assures his guests of the bank's willingness to continue to collaborate with relevant agencies to improve the lot of MSMEs regarding access to credit, but also warns that due diligence will not be compromised. We want Nigerians to know that borrowing from Bank of Industry 
is not your own share of national cake. Yes. Right. No. People always believe that anything that government has interest in is our own. And anything that comes out from that institution is our share of national cake. That's not it. You know, uh, Bank of Industry has been there for 59 years. The fact that we have survived various governments must mean that there are a few things that we are doing well. You know, uh, we also understand the credit culture of Nigerians. We also, working with you and others, we want to make credit more accessible to people. Uh, but the, the credit rating agencies in Nigeria don't really have a lot of database as at now, you know, because people are not registered. So we ourselves, you know, working with Smedan, you know, and, and uh, Nigerian Export Import Bank, you know, we actually got Donna Brasfit to come in, and we are forming, you know, a partnership, and we are jointly, you know, putting together a company, you know, basically to be rating, you know, SMEs. You know, so when we have that kind of data, it's easier for us to waive some conditions because you have the pattern of how these borrowers behave. You know, so we expect that when that comes fully into force, maybe towards the end of the year, it has started now, uh, and we have more people. You know, and then uh, and we know how they behave, then they can access credit from us. Before they left, the PEBEC secretary asks for more support. We collaborate with private sector and bank of industry is well placed in this regard. So we'll also we look into your support in disseminating information about our reforms across your databases so that Nigerians know coming from their bankers what exactly the federal government is doing to make Nigeria a progressively easier place in which to do business.